Hi everyone, great news today, got the Tesla motor running on the bench, which was excellent. Kind of scary for me because, uh, you know, things are expensive and it just is what it is. But anyway, I'm running the Damien McGuire uh, control board for the motor itself, which uh, he reverse engineered and stuff and got it all running and uh, he's in Ireland. Um, and the board seems to work great. So I'm going to take and set the camera up differently and I'll show you how things work and what happens and uh, get to the fun. Okay, here's the setup. All right, three contactors. One contactor is a pre-charge contactor which takes and turns on before the main contactor and what it does, it makes sure there's enough voltage in the system to run the motor so you don't hurt the motor. Okay. So this is the pre-charge, this is the main contactor for the positive, and this is the main contactor for the negative. Those go over here, positive and negative, and they're just small wires on them right now because it's just a bench test as far as that goes. This over here is the forward reverse switch, the ignition switch like in your car which you would turn it, the car on, and this is the start switch which means it would be like taking your car, turning it on, and then turning the starter to get everything working. Okay. Um, so this is the f gas pedal out of a Tesla and then you'll be able to see over here this turning and you'll hear noise or whatever. I should have put something in there for you so you could see it turning. Let me look and see if I got something real quick. I'll just roll up a piece of paper. How's that sound? And put it in here. Okay, and that should show you what's going on. I'll put a mark on it. So you can see it turn. So okay, so what we're gonna do first, or what I'm gonna do is turn on this, the ignition switch would be like turning on your key. And what you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear this relay click, which is the main conductor for the negative, so it's gonna be on. Then you're gonna hear this one click and then after a few seconds I'll hit the start button which then the whole thing will run and then I can do forward and reverse to show the forward and reverse so let's go ignition that click hit start now the main contactors on this one now I hit forward like going in forward and press the gas pedal And as you can see, it's going forward. Okay, letting off the gas pedal, it's going to slowly wind to a stop because it's not in a car and it's an electric motor, so it has a lot of inertia. So once it slows down, I'll go to neutral on my switch, and once it slows down and stops, we'll go the other way. I'm helping it on the other side a little bit. Boy, that thing's got a lot of inertia. Big motor. I did end up putting the differential in here so we have a uh, limited slip differential. Okay, so that's forward. And now I'll hit reverse. It stops. Okay. There's reverse. And it should go the other way, which it does. So that's forward and reverse. And I have it set up on really low power. Uh, I'll put it in neutral again. I have it set up on really low power uh, because when you do these tests and stuff, you don't need 400 volts to run this thing. I only have it running at like 57 volts, I believe it was. It was the battery I put on it. And I have a whole, I have 12 batteries to set this up with. So I'll have. 2P, uh, 6S battery packs will be right around 400 volts um, and really powerful. So it should be able to run this performance motor pretty nicely. So there it is. It runs. I'm jazzed. I'm stoked. Here, I'll give you a little bit better close-up of uh, this stuff. I'll shut the camera off. So this is a setup. I have just a small motorcycle battery charged all the way up for doing this. 
This is my control board for forward reverse, ignition, and then the start sequence to tell that everything is good. Like I said, this is the pre-charge, this is the main, and that's the ground or negative relay. On the pre-charge, what happens is it starts, it comes through this resistor, okay, which kind of drops the current way down to pre-charge the uh, inverter. So you don't blow an inverter. You got to charge it up a little bit to get all the electronics, you know, feeling good, let's say, okay. And then once it says everything is okay, when you press start over here, it would be just like in the car, you know, hitting the starter, it closes the main contactor. So now we have full voltage um, and lots of amps that will go and run the car. This is a Tesla pedal. That is, you know, the inverter. This down here you see flashing is the uh, Damien board. And, and it seems to work great. You know, it has Wi-Fi in it, so you're able to uh, check the settings and redo the settings and stuff if you need to for different configurations. This I had to take and redo the settings to get the voltage down to like in the 50s instead of being in the 400 volts. So I have to redo that and set it back up again. But that's it, and it works, and I'm stoked. It's so great. So we'll be taking it apart, or putting the motor back together, taking this apart, and uh, putting it back in the car. I think it's a Frankenstein at this point. Uh, put it back in the Frankenstein, which because Frankenstein, what, was made go with electricity or whatever, lightning. So, hey, Frankenstein. There's a bunch of different ones out there called Frankenstein, but this is pretty much the one that, you know, electrified. And there's actually there's one more out there. But anyway, that's a whole other story. So anyway, there we go. That's the setup. Worked great. I'm jazzed. Okay, till next time. RoadsterCycle.com. Jack here. Bye.